hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video and watching so today i want to be talking briefly on what are affirmations you must have heard me talk a lot about affirmations on this channel and you're probably wondering why what is how can i begin affirming so this video today is specifically just to talk about what affirmations are how you can begin and then let's just dive into it. What is affirmations? Affirmations, simply put, my own definition, I like to define it as what? Positive thoughts that are spoken out loud to help um, overcome, yeah, to help overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. So here's the thing about positive affirmations. Affirmations are so powerful, such that when you speak affirmations repeatedly, it ultimately has a way of changing the way you think, changing the image that you have of yourself, either in the present situation or talking futuristic, right? So, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can start affirming or, yeah, how you can start affirming as a beginner. So, I've come across a couple of people that believe that affirmations don't work. And also, I've heard a couple of people say, oh, they have been affirming, but it never worked. It doesn't work. So, I just want, I respect that opinion, honestly, but I do have a different opinion, which is affirmations work. I'm talking specifically from my own experience with affirmations. You just have to be, I believe that with affirmations, you have to be patient. Um, let's look at affirmation more like an exercise, right? You know how when you actually get up, oh, exercise a lot. Sometimes I feel very displeased with certain things and I want to actually like, work on it to get a desired result now because it's exercising it literally demands that you put in work efforts and you do it repeatedly you've got to be consistent to some large extent but it's about being consistent about it and repeatedly doing it that gives you that desired result so that's actually how affirmations work with affirmations you have to say it repeatedly you have to continue repeating your affirmations and then ultimately it's not like magic but ultimately you will find that it has changed your thinking pattern it has changed your thought process because what affirmation does is it pretty much comes in contact with your subconscious and actually speaks certain things to life right yeah manifestations some people call it manifestations but i like to say bringing certain things to life right so that's how affirmations work with affirmations you have to always just always remember that you need patience for people that actually have a low self-esteem you might wonder come on affirmations cannot work for me because already you don't think all that great about yourself um somewhere in the description button i'm going to drop the link to the video um i made talking about how to believe in yourself again and how to build confidence unstoppable confidence that works like all the time but for people that have low self-esteem and affirmation or an affirming certain things it's if you find you'll find it very conflicting because basically what happens is i'm here telling you that when you affirm certain things can come to life but that is so conflicting with the image you have of yourself before you start affirmation i'll advise i would really suggest that you actually try to work on self-esteem to be able to get the most out of your affirmations um don't get me wrong even if you have low self-esteem when you affirm it will still work it will only just take longer time to see your desired results it will take longer time and you need way way more motivation to stay true to your affirmations okay a couple of people have asked me time with a number is affirmation just for anxiety or depression i would say for me affirmations i have i started my affirmations to counter my feelings of depression and anxiety but i find that you can honestly apply affirmations in almost every walks of life you can affirm for success you can affirm for healthy living you can affirm for wealth you can affirm for abundance you can affirm for self-esteem you can affirm for confidence you can affirm for love self-love you can affirm for relationships pretty much anything so you have to be able to carve a unique affirmation that suits your most immediate need. Affirmations are positive thoughts that actually help to overcome self-sabotaging. And the only way you can self-sabotage, self-sabotage, just like the word implies, is literally you doing it for yourself. How does it happen? It happens all in the mind. It's all in your mind. Your mind tells you certain things. So it's all in your thinking process. 
what affirmation does for you is it can literally just change your thought process over time it's a process and then you can now carve your affirmation based on your most pressing negative thoughts that you seem to be struggling with right if for example your most pressing negative thought is something like um, I'm not good enough I'm not good enough or something like uh, I'm not beautiful right so you can literally if that is the most dominating thought on your mind you want to just easily swap that to I am good enough I am enough I am beautiful for affirmations to work you honestly have to be able to say your affirmations with some honest to God feeling you have to be able to want that change that you are affirming it is important to want it if you don't want it then you will speak it without any feelings or emotions you get my drift so you want to honestly affirm with the honesty that your affirmation like with the honesty or the consciousness of how hungry you are for the manifestation of what you affirm right so um, if your greatest honest to God desire is to be a better version of yourself probably because you know what you your self-esteem has been bruised one too many times and you feel like you're not worthy you feel like you're not enough and that is like the most dominating thoughts on your mind your affirmations would you would want your affirmations to target that specific thought, and you form your affirmation specifically for that desire for that possible positive outcome that you desire right okay, you want to carve your affirmation unique to the most pressing negative thoughts on your mind right after that the, the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to write your affirmations in present tense present tense you don't want to say affirmation in like past tense and for some people some people might prefer the third person right narrative when speaking the affirmations but i personally like the present tense and it would be something more like i am worthy of love i am respectable i am lovable i am enough i embrace change right so you want your affirmations to be very much in the present tense because it helps you just it helps you step in that place it helps you take the place of of possibilities of endless possibilities like of goals achievable right so you want your affirmations to be in present tense another thing you want to do is you want your affirmations to honestly just be achievable you want to be realistic with your affirmation you don't want to affirm like i said like we established earlier affirmations are not uh, magic wands or a spell that you can cast upon yourself speak the words and then the spell is casted upon you and you open your eyes in the morning and boom you have like the image you you aspire for yourself no affirmations don't work like that it has to be achievable it has to be realistic so let me just give a clear or more si a simple example you maybe you feel very unhappy and you aspire or you want to manifest you want to see a happier version of yourself now that's very much achievable because what you can do is you can literally as you affirm i am happy i am happy it begins to take place in your mind it fills your spirit it fills your mind it, it empowers you and you literally react you give out happiness you don't even think about it you just realize that you're exuding happiness but it's a process it takes time you you've got to be patient to see the results you don't affirm today and uh, maybe your next affirmation is probably in three months time and you feel like you know affirmations ain't working for my mind i still think the way i think about myself i still have the same images and thoughts that i've always had about myself you will if you do not affirm consistently that's what you get and trust me it is doable <laughs> affirmations are like the most easiest things i think this is like one of the ones that one of the guidelines that literally like saw me through most of the times so I was depressed and anxious. If you're full of negative self-talking, right, you want to use affirmations to turn those negative self-talks into positivity. You know, at some point I would think, you know what, Nancy, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'll feel, I'll feel like tramp or filth. But I know that I want to feel worthy. 
I know that I want to feel able. I know I want to feel valuable, right? So when I speak those words of affirmations, what literally happens over time, I, get, I got here, but what literally happens is every time I speak those words of affirmations, I get, to, I get filled with, with a sense of worth. I can't explain, I can't describe it, but that's what happens when you speak those words. You take the most predominant negative thoughts that have come to stay with you, that has come to like define you. You take those thoughts and consciously turn them into positive thoughts and you say it repeatedly, repeatedly. The key word here is repeatedly with affirmations. To get results, you need to be consistent about your affirmations. Let me just say, it is worth noting that when you use affirmations or the use of affirmations can literally help you transform the negative thoughts or images that you've had of yourself into a much more positive image of self. Like it's so powerful. I feel it's extremely powerful. Now you have an idea what affirmations are. I want to know in the comment section, guys, do you affirm? How often do you affirm? I want to hear some of your affirmations, really, if you do. So drop your affirmations in the comment section. I really want to hear about it. And are you thinking of affirming? Um, do you think it's something you can try? Do you think it's something you know what you might actually be able to, but you don't know how to, you know, get in the spirit of drafting or personalizing your own affirmations i'm going to drop a link to the video of um some affirmations in the description just so you can take a listen and tell me what you think about it so um i'm going to drop a few examples of some affirmations i'm going to drop some examples of some affirmations just to give you some sort of guideline and to sort of just hold you by the hand and help you start your journey with affirmations i like to always start my affirmations with declaring and stating my name i just always like to own the affirmation so that's optional if you want to say your name it's fine but i like to say my name all the time so it goes more like i am nancy i am beautiful i am bold i am courageous i am enough i am worthy of love and respect i embrace change your affirmations would just go in that line so you pretty much just counter the most dominant negative thoughts that you want to change about yourself. It works all the time, honestly, all the time. I'm going to drop a quick story for you guys. I think sometime during the week, the previous week, I had like a severe situation with, I had like a severe situation. You know, it just, there was so much conflict going on in my head and I didn't like it because, you know, I couldn't just have like some peace in my mind. It felt like my mind had been, rented out like the space of my, my mind had been rented out for baggages and and shit to just fill my mind and it literally just got me in the verge of depression but i decided to affirm certain things just to counter how i was feeling and a valuable lesson was learned from all of it guys it literally it literally <laughs> it was like I got an adrenaline shot. I'm not exaggerating. I literally just got popped up and went about like, what about, I had the energy, I had the peace of mind, I had enough happiness to see me through the day. I would literally just, I could have just stayed in that mood for maybe a full week, trust me. But I realized that with that affirmation, it literally just, gave me the peace of mind. So I affirmed to counter exactly what was bothering me per time at that moment. So that's the thing with affirmations, right? Um, okay. So just as usual, I'm going to sign off now, but remember to click the like button if you love this video and turn on notification button. <laughs> no, before you turn on notification, you just subscribe guys it's free it doesn't cost you nothing it's free to subscribe you subscribe turn on the notification button so that you are literally the first to see my videos before they are dropped how cool is that <laughs> i know right <laughs> all right guys my name is nancy i am beautiful i am bold i am extra i know <laughs> i am amazing everything is working together for my good and i embrace change Right? Let's go, baby.